Hello, everyone. It is Thursday, November 5th. Welcome to another episode of Together San Diego. I'm Luis Cruz, Community Relations Director for the San Diego Union Tribune. And joining me this afternoon is Sandy Cottrell, Managing Director of Art Walk San Diego, and artist Robin Branham. Sandy and Robin, thank you both for joining me today. Thank you. Oh, it's great to have you both on. Uh, Sandy, let's start with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about Art Hi. Walk San, Di San Diego and uh, the event taking place at Liberty Station this weekend. So uh, many of you are familiar with the big event in Little, Little Italy every April, which is called, called Mission Federal Art Walk. <clears throat> That's probably our best known brand, but we do three art shows every year. Art Walk Liberty Station has actually been around for about 15 years now. and. Since all the shows have been canceled up until this point, we were just delighted that we were given approval by the county to produce this safe and physically distant show. So we have it's some images from previous events. Uh, tell us how COVID-19 will uh, uh, affect uh, or have you, I guess, uh, change what you do every year. Well, first of all, the artists um, that you know from our shows, our other shows will be there along with many new artists. And they are really excited about a place finally to be able to showcase their work since everything's closed down this year. With uh, the protocols that are in place for this show, um, masks will be required. You won't see any photos with people wearing masks because they're all from other years but masks will be required for everyone. Um, we have eliminated the festival type of activities that we normally have, like food and beverage, like kids activities, um, also any interactive art experiences, and we're not allowed to have live music. So it is a, just a straightforward artist selling art show, which is kind of exciting because it kind of gets us back to the roots of why we exist. But in addition to masks, there will be temperature checks at the door. We have lots of protocols in place for physical distancing. Um, the event allows over 100 square feet per person, so it should never feel crowded or like you can't physically distance and we are going to limit the amount of people in. One more difference is because we were required to have this massive fence around a hundred thousand square foot venue, um, we do have to charge a small ad admission fee this year. So it's five dollars with 18 and under free. Okay great sounds like you're taking uh, the, uh, lots of precautions uh, to protect uh, guests uh robin yeah. tell me a little bit about your involvement with art walk san diego let's see did we uh... um i've been involved i believe probably about 10 years and i do all the one can you hear me yes yes go on hello we can hear okay, you robin so i'm sorry i've been involved for about 10 years I do all the different shows, um, and it happens to be one of my like favorites. It's my my um, hometown, that's where my alma mater is, San Diego State University, where I went to school. And um, I'm excited, and and I, you know, to put a positive spin on this show that we're so all appreciative of is that we've all been just cooped up in our tent, our studios, painting day after day after day after day, not having anyone to show the work to. So I don't even know. What people will think of the new work i've gotten brighter colorful um uh, you know a little bit crazy work you know with all this stuff going on and friends that are there are in the same situation um adolfo geraldo uh gabrielle feinberghammer they're all just cooped up in their studios and we're so ready to come and show our new work so that's the positive point um and um, I believe me, your five dollars will go a long ways. You get a lot for it. So we don't have the uh, best connection with there? Robin, but yes, we don't have the best connection with you, Robin. But if you can uh, hear us, uh, talk a little bit about your own personal work. Oh, my work is. Um, I, I can. I don't know. Can you see? Uh, boy, I'm sorry. Can you guys see that? Yes. Anyways, I, I'm an abstract painter. Very bright, large, abstract. 
um, a lot of texture. Um, there, uh, I don't know if I was picked as the poster girl for the last Italy show that got shut down. It was a painting <laughs> called The Queen. I don't know if anybody knows where the posters all went, but um, I did do. Uh, do you know where they went, Sandy? Uh, we have a few left. <laughs> we finally recycled oh, the well. mini boxes of items them. that we did for April. <laughs> I, I would love to see one. I so Sandy, t tell us a little bit. Oh, there's there's a nice one there. So what Robin's talking about is we have a featured artist program for our biggest show of the year, which is the one in April. And we select eight featured artists every year. And Robin was not only a featured artist, her artwork was on the cover of everything that we printed. Big pivot now, we don't print anything because nobody wants to pick anything up. So okay, even our event map at the show will be on a QR code that you can view on your phone. So we're trying to keep everything touchless. But yes, it was sad to say goodbye to the 50,000 flyers that were sitting in our office from February until just recently. We finally parted with them. Now, now Sandy, this is also a fundraiser for you. So we have a nonprofit arts education profit. It's ArtReach San Diego, and their mission is to take art into schools that do not have art. Um, it's surprising how many schools in San Diego County have no resources, no budget for art lessons whatsoever. And of course, they've had to do a big pivot to develop all virtual classes, online teaching. We've been sending home art kits for students. So we've been able to have, through our virtual program, double the amount of kids that we have served this year, which is awesome. So as you can see behind me, we have art guitars this year. Last year it was surfboards that were transformed into art. This year we have 31 Fender guitars. They're uh, Eddie Van Halen electric guitars, EVH, they call them. And they are all available now on an online auction at artreachsandiego.org. But you can view them in person at the show this weekend so that you can get a better feel for them. And the bidding stays open then until um, Sunday at 9 p.m. All right, so we have a couple of images of, of some of the guitars that will be up for auction. And, and again, tell us a little bit about um, the nonprofit uh, that'll benefit from this? Well, it's Artreach, like I said, and uh, Artreach started in 2007 and has grown substantially over the years. Uh, we're going to end up serving probably about 25,000 students this year because we've gone virtual. And we really started the organization to address the lack of art education in a lot of schools. And we uh, it's just amazing how many people still need the program and are on a waiting list. And even though we do a lot, we always want to do more and serve more students. So this goes a long way. These guitar auction type activities like surfboards last year, it goes a long way towards funding that program. And so tell us a little bit about what type of artwork uh, we will see uh, this weekend. Pretty much every type of fine art, uh, painting, sculpture, glasswork. We have some amazing high-end jewelers and it's all fine art. It's been juried to be here. We only accept about half of the artists that apply. And a lot of the artists do come from other parts of the state and some from Arizona and Nevada to be here. Um, it's really something for every budget and every taste. You'll see everything from very traditional oil painters to people like Robin that have these amazing abstracts. Um, you can see one behind me too with our um, image that we're using to promote this year. That's a piece by Jen Duran. We also have an art face mask that we will be offering. If anyone wants to purchase one of those. So um, yeah, it's it, it's a little bit of everything that you can imagine. And so what price range are we talking about? I would say anywhere from $50 to $20,000. I mean, I don't know that there's even an average price. It just depends on the artist. But I think a lot of times people are surprised to learn that 
there are often sales at these shows that are well over ten thousand dollars on a piece so um but there are definitely a lot of lower end things too and some people sell a limited amount of giclés and reproduction so um i would say um it's a perfect show for a season collector or someone that's just starting out. And like Robin said, I think we're all starved for art. The artists are certainly starved for a way to show, but I mean, this has been kind of a gray colorless time for us in 2020. So this is a chance to soak up some color, some creativity, and getting a chance to meet the artists, of course, is one of the the key reasons to go to a show like this because you not only see art that you enjoy but you learn from the artists why they created that piece and why should uh why would you say people should buy uh original art um to me anyway there is a um unmistakable connection uh when you purchase a piece of original art as opposed to you know, a poster or a reproduction, um, and then getting to meet the artist at the same time, as like I said. But um, you guys. anybody who's ever fallen in love with a piece of art and maybe you walk away from it, and it will call you back days later. A lot of artists actually sold after the show because people will see something and then they regret leaving it behind. So our website is actually very handy for that. You can find the artist long after the show and uh, get that piece that you left. Some of the artists will even like come to your home in, on Saturday evening and help you display it over your sofa to make sure that you like it. So um, wow. yeah, there's, and you know, commissions are happen at the shows too. If you like something and want something a little bit different, but similar. So um, you'll find that all of the artists are just so anxious to meet the attendees and to talk with you. So we highly suggest when you come to a show like this, don't be shy, approach the artist, ask them what inspired them, ask them about their process and their technique. I think it just enriches the whole experience. Yeah. Uh, Sandy, how has the Art Walk San Diego uh, evolved over the years? So the original, event that took place was in 1984 and it was put on by a group of artists that weren't represented by galleries and they found empty office buildings empty warehouses and it ranged all the way from little italy to the gas lamp to east village so you either drove or you took a car and you went into all these different spaces um, in the early 2000s, it moved out into the streets of Little Italy, and um, that allowed the event, because it had grown so much, to start acquiring sponsors who appreciate having a large audience to be sponsors in front of. Um, our team took over that event in 2005, and we turned it into three annual events, which is now Artwork Liberty Station in August mm -hmm. and Artwork Carlsbad in September, plus, of course, the huge April show, Mission Fed Artwork. Of course, they've all been canceled this year, so when we learned we could come back, we thought Liberty Station was the best place to do this because it's we can confine the space and put a fence around it. All right, yeah, it should be a fun event. Let's see if we can check in with Robin one more time. Uh, let's see, Robin, do we have you? Uh, let's see. Uh, Robin, why should people come out to, uh, to the, <laughs> why should people come out to I'm this weekend's sorry, event? Can me, right? Sorry. Can you? All right, well, we're still, we're still having pro problems with Robin's audio, so apologize for that. What but happens when you live. <laughs> but Sandy, can you talk a little bit about uh, why people should come out to this uh, event over the weekend? Um, what, number one, just to satisfy your craving for color and creativity. And yes, there is rain in the forecast, and we are prepared to deal with that. We don't think it's going to rain solidly each day and it is a rain or shine um, show. So um, we really hope you'll come down, support the artists. That's really the main thing to us is supporting these artists that work so hard all year round. Um, I believe Robin, so you know, is in the hills of Malibu. 
Um, I know she's somewhere in the Los Angeles area, so that could be part of the issue with the connection. Okay. And again, uh, where can people get more information? The website is artwalklibertystation.org. It has uh, a map of the show, which you can access also on a QR code. It has um, a showcase of all the art, so you can preview it and plan your visit. But it's a very navigable area. It's about 150 booths, so you'll be able to easily see everything in a couple of hours. All right. All right. Well, we'll have to check in with uh, with Robin another time. Robin, uh, apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, you'll have to come back and, and be our guest uh, another day. Uh, thank you, Sandy Cottrell, Managing Director of Art Walk San Diego and artist Robin Branham. And uh, thank you at home, everyone that's been watching. Have a great day, everybody. And don't forget, the event is the 15th Annual Fine Art Festival this uh, November 7th and 8th, Art Walk at Liberty Station. Hope you can make it out there. And that'll do it for us. Uh, we will see you uh, tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. San Diegans accomplish great things every day. We care about our neighbors and our community. We are proud of our diversity. We are resilient. We hold our leaders accountable. We live in one of the most dynamic cities in America. The San Diego Union Tribune, telling San Diego's story for more than 150 years.